Um, let me turn it over, John. It's your turn to the, the CEO's report. And, John, why don't you give us a quick update of what's happened since the last board meeting? Yeah, thank you, Chairman Shell. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. I'd like to start off the report today by going around to the ICC and the five entities for some brief reports on the activity that has gone on since our last meeting. I'd like to start with VOA. As you pointed out, we have a new leadership team at VOA. We introduced Amanda Bennett at our last meeting, and we also since then added a deputy director of the VOA named Sandy Sugawara, who's not here today. She's uh, on assignment. And they, the, those two women joined Kelu Chow. And the three of those uh, leaders uh, have formed a very strong strategic alliance with one another in the advancement of improvements at Voice of America. And I believe it's true. Uh, if it's not, somebody can tell me that it's the only national, international news organization run by three women. And so we're very proud of that fact because there are three very accomplished women, beginning with Amanda Bennett. So Amanda, do you want to lead us off with a quick update on Voice of America? Yes, John, thank you so much. And, and, and thank you for that uh, tribute to Sandy because she is off uh, working on a State Department-sponsored technology conference. And she's just diving in and doing a fantastic job covering it and also picking up things that she will be bringing to VOA. So thank you so much. Uh, before I start, I'd like to introduce some visitors we have here. Um, we have here a delegation from uh, our Latin American affiliates. and. Um, I just want to point out that using our affiliate model, we have developed extremely close working relationships with our Latin American visitors. And um, these, our Latin American division has 17% of the market in the countries that they serve of people 18 and over. And the affiliates that are visiting here represent 50% of that, that audience. So very quickly, I would like to recognize Amada Castañón from Mexico City and TV Azteca, Emma Calderon from Tegucigalpa, Honduras, from Lunda TV. Andrea Ramirez from San Jose, Costa Rica, from CB24. Ojana Gonzalez from Bogota, Colombia, from Cabo Noticias. And I think they may have had to step out for a separate meeting. So we can, you can keep going and recognize them they're in town, but I'm just, I want to just make sure. Yeah, I want to make sure we recognize them, but they did have uh, another thing that was more pressing at the moment. So. I see. I just checked five minutes ago that they were here, so I apologize. Keep, noted, keep recognizing them, though. I will keep it'll be recognizing on the, them. The good thing so is you can be, see this later on the web, on so the, they can all the, watch it. Uh, Jorge Ivan Melo from Quito, Ecuador, of Teleamazonas. Rosana Coronado from Lima, Peru, Andina de Televisión. Pablo Vasquez from Santiago, Chile, Televisión Nacional de Chile. And Ana Clara Felice from RTR, Argentina. Thank you in absentia, all of you. Thank you. So quickly, I'd like to just run down the first 60 plus days that I've, I've been here. And I'd like to say that in my first 60 days, I've discovered a place of amazing hidden talents and strengths and a remarkable willingness and, in fact, eagerness to change to liberate those talents and strengths. So started doing a few things to point us in the direction of our goal of becoming faster moving and to recognize our mission. And just as one example, I would like to say that very shortly after the tragedy in Orlando, we are sponsoring next week at the museum a panel discussion with Muslim millennials talking about their challenges and their opportunities here. And I think it will be a very robust discussion. So. We're trying to very quickly respond to news events with these kinds of things. Um, I found that Voice of America, in fact, has a very robust and very strong mission that does distinguish us from many other news organizations. And our mission is, one, to be an objective news source in countries where they have no other. Two, to tell America's stories in ways that our audiences can relate to. Focusing on the things that people outside the United States found appealing and compelling about the United States culture and civilization, such as technology, entrepreneurialism, education, medicine, and women's issues. And the third, which I think is an equally important, if not more important, that is becoming an authentic voice of America's diaspora communities, both enabling us to link back effectively with the countries that these people have come here from, and also 
telling one of America's most compelling stories, and that is the stories of the people who make up this country. So real quickly, I'd just like to point out a couple of things we've done. We're going to be um, dry running, testing what I find is going to be a very, uh, I hope, a very exciting platform. Uh, we're calling it Global Town Hall. So at the two uh, presidential conventions, we are going to be testing out a platform using Facebook Live that will enable us to broadcast from a single source and speak to um, people in Persian, Chinese, Russian, and Spanish, all at a single time in simultaneous translation. We think that will be a very powerful tool in our, in our um, efforts to reach into those markets. Sandy has started a mobile task force as part of our effort to rapidly adopt digital technology. Um, you will be hearing later from the uh, head of our extremism desk, which is a small group of people fluent in a dozen uh, appropriate languages who are compiling and distributing worldwide incidents of extremism and stories out of those areas that nobody else has access to. And we also uh, piloted a video series on American political language, which helps people understand the kind of shorthand that we use here in American political systems. It's quite a, quite a, um, it's going to be quite an interesting uh, video series. And so, um, working with Deputy Director Sandy Sugar and Associate Director Kelu Chow, we are very close to using the help of a large and growing number of people within VOA to launch a really ambitious and wide-ranging series of changes that we hope will bring us much, much closer to our ability to execute the mission that we find so important. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Amanda. Any questions for Amanda? Comments? Matt? Comments. Thank you for being here. And Sandy as well. We are so excited we can barely stand it.